Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> Our official first full day in Cancun. Yeah. <laughs> We're just chilling on the balcony. <laughs> we filmed a little TikTok. Here's the outfit check for Fareed. Oh, he doesn't have his shoes on, but <laughs> that's what he got on. We lasted like two minutes outside maybe. It was so windy. Was windy. <laughs> my hijab flew off for a sec, but good thing I had my undercap that didn't fly off. Like my hat flew off and then the this flew off with it. Undercap saved my life. Yeah, my undercap my undercap saved my life. No one was even around me when that happened though. And free though over here it was like just staring at me. I was like, Are you gonna help or are you just gonna <laughs> keep laughing at me? <laughs> my hands were full. Yes, at a time. Busy one, time. One at a time. We came back. Um, we ate breakfast. We're gonna go back in a little. We came to get like a beach bag. And I need to figure out my undercaps. Or my hijabs. I don't know. I need to figure out how to get hijab this to stay with, with all that wind. This one lady was walking by and she was like, I think I got it. She was like, My eyelashes are falling off. She saw the vlog camera. She was like talking to it. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, we went down and got um, a quick little. Oh, your donut here. Donut. Um, Freed, like, what did you do to it? <laughs> All right. You can you close it when you go out? Oh, go out, go out. Oh, I thought you were going to go out or something. So far, we've been liking this place, minus the wind. <laughs> That's not every day, though. Uh, yeah. They're not even doing, like, the jet skis or anything because of the wind. That's what uh -huh. he said. I was like, dang, it's not windy. Probably fall over on the jet ski. I think the wind was like over 30, like 20 miles per hour for sure. No, it's like 15 miles. <laughs> like 15? No, my hijab, the hat, the hijab, both. Okay, 16 miles. 16. I don't know, free. Oh, it's so funny because they keep asking us, like every time we go to eat, and they're like, oh, what do you want to drink? You want a cocktail? You want a mimosa? What else do they say? Samosa. Samosa. <laughs> it's just, yeah, because it's all inclusive over here, and I guess it makes it worth it for the non Muslim people, like the people that drink, because that stuff's expensive, but it's all like included in the like all inclusive fee, I guess, which is really cool. And me and Free, when we first got here, we were like, wait, we could get whatever we want, like it's all free. I mean, it's not free, you paid a lot, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but we were like, when we were getting uh, food at the restaurant, we were like, okay. That's it, like you just walk out when you're done. <laughs> yeah, it's been nice. What else? We haven't really done too much. We will go back down to the beach and I'll show you guys that. It's really, really pretty. And this view is so nice. Like I don't mind spending all my time up here. It's not as windy up here, probably because we're so far up. <laughs> I said I just realized it's not windy up here. That's why I didn't even realize that it was like as windy when we got down because it's all blocked. But everyone's like chilling at the pool. At the beach. Huh? Oh, there's boats over there, Freed's saying. I don't know why Freed keeps trying to leave this resort when everything's like... <laughs> he's just trying to spend more money when he doesn't need to. <laughs> they have like activities that you can do. Like they have a golf thing, I think. I saw that online, I need to see. But they have beach volleyball and things like that. So we'll see. I put my floppy hat back on. I'm hungry again. It's only been like... How long were we chilling here for like an hour maybe? Excuse me? Were we chilling for like an hour, right? Like how long were we here for? After, here? after breakfast? Yeah, about an hour. About an hour. I really want to go to the beach, but it's so windy. Like I got my beach outfit on. Did I show you guys my outfit? I don't think I did. Don't mind the mess. But I found these at Zara. 
and I was like, ooh, these will be perfect for vacation. So that's how I got that. And then white shirt, button up. I did the scarf like tied to the side. Uh, the like satin one, I will link this down below. They had so many on Amazon and they were like very inexpensive. And this hat I got is from Amazon too and I love how floppy it is. Like I would definitely recommend. And then I got my little Vivea bag for the beach. I'm gonna put like my tripod and stuff and everything. So we're back from the beach. Uh, we just chilled for a little, it was nice, it was relaxing. My drink kind of got sand in it because I put it on the floor so I did not finish it unfortunately and Freed kind of dropped it too. <laughs> he got himself a hat and he got glasses. He got some fake Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> Show him the glasses you got. You had to, um, what was the word, bargain for these. <laughs> he walked away like twice from the guy. The guy was like 400 pesos, Freed was like not nah. <laughs> 50 pesos and he was like, come on man, two dollars really? <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't even know if a deep pesos was two dollars. <laughs> How much did you end up getting it for? Two hundred pesos. Yeah, that's not bad. I guess I think that's like ten dollars. I don't know. But we're back. The room's been cleaned. The bed's been made and everything. The best part about vacation is you don't have to make your own bed. <laughs> I got my silk pillowcase over there. I mean, all my messes everywhere. But I think we're going to go down to the pool. I'm going to change into my burkini. <laughs> And then we're gonna go down to the pool. Before we head down to the pool, we ordered some room service. So we got that. I did change into my bikini, but not wearing my hijab. I'm not gonna show you guys, but we're just gonna eat this, chill on the balcony, enjoy the view. What did we get? Okay, Freed over here got a cheeseburger. I got cheese pizza, pineapple juice, and Coke. Just the Alfredo. Ooh, that looks good. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat the pizza first. Let it cool down, it's really hot. I guess Fareed over here uh, wants his food in the bed because he hasn't gotten up yet. I don't know what's going on with you. You look very tired. I'm not tired. You're not tired? I'm not tired. Not tired? Nope. Your face says one thing and you're saying another. You didn't even open yours. <laughs> Please don't do that. We finished our food. We actually ate all of this, surprisingly. I didn't think we were going to. I feel like all we've been doing is eating. True. But I got my working on. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie already had his swimsuit on the whole time. <laughs> nice glasses for you. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Breathe, is it cold? <laughs> How deep is it? <laughs> Why are you going in so slowly? <laughs> Wait, 
Oh, that's not that deep at all. Oh shoot, it is. Do you think? Wait, you're tall. You're like five inches taller than me. It's gonna be like up to here. Oh, I only got to wear it for one day. Oh, he's eating, huh? <laughs> I'm good. Oh, I'm not hungry anymore after all that. So Fred accidentally swam with his wallet and now he laid out all his money. Little, what are these called? Pesos. I literally told him, take it out of your pocket before he went and he didn't listen. He was like, oh yeah, I'll get it right before I go in the water. And look what happened. He got his wallet wet. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go shower, relax, and freshen up. Um, I'm like soaking wet and very cold. Okay, I'm gonna go shower, you guys. I'm freezing cold. Like, I'm soaking. As you can tell, it's a lot darker now. We ended up coming back, showered. I probably like relaxed for like two hours. I don't know why we got so exhausted because we were literally just like relaxing, but I feel like even just like relaxing or walking all the way downstairs or whatever, it gets you very tired. But we did go for dinner. I didn't record before that because Fareed was brushing me. But I did record our dinner. We had sushi. So there's like seven restaurants I think you can go to that are included in the all-inclusive package. So it's like you can eat whatever you want, how much ever you want. It's all like free. Well, it's not free, but you paid for it technically. But yeah, so one of the restaurants we tried out today was called Dragon, I think, in the resort. Yeah. It was called dragon so we went there we got sushi the sushi was good i just got a california roll they didn't have like a lion king roll or anything they the only cooked roll they had was the california roll and then they had um another roll but i just forgot what it was called it was called like the secret and it had like the shrimp tempura in it and that one was cooked too i believe so i got that one but it had salmon in it that was wrong i just asked them to take out the salmon so i got that one because I don't like like raw sushi at all. It just grosses me out. And yeah, I don't know how you guys eat raw sushi if you eat it. But we had that. I also got pad thai, but the pad thai was not good to be honest. So I feel like the food here out of the four restaurants we've tried out of the seven, I think we've tried four. The food's like whatever. Like it's not like really bad food, but it's obviously not like the best food I've ever had in my life, you know, but it's not like terrible. And yeah, just thought I'd update you guys on that if you're thinking of staying here. Don't expect the food to be like some really, really amazing food. The presentation of the food is really nice though. The way they present it to you the first night, I think I recorded that. We had like falafels, which they were good, but they also didn't really taste like the authentic falafels, like you can't expect it to, um, because I'm pretty sh sure all the I mean, we're in Mexico, so yeah, it's not like the authentic tasting food, but it's not like terrible. It has, it's like its own taste. And yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit. Um, I did my hijab style in a different way, and it covers the neck and everything fully. It's the like the Tulbazi hijab style. Let me show you guys the outfit. I was doing my makeup on here because I like when I came back and showered and stuff. I like redid all my makeup, so that's why my makeup's all over the place. But these are the only shoes I brought with me, so I'm wearing these because these are the only ones I brought, but they literally go with like every outfit to be honest. And then I am wearing the blue dress jumpsuit situation. It's a, it's a jumpsuit, I would say. I wouldn't call it a dress, but I guess it kind of looks like a dress, but it wraps around. I would say it's like a jumpsuit and it like covers you in the back like a dress, but then it has like the pant legs, which makes it so comfortable. They have this um, in a few different colors. I will link it down below. Um, I know they don't have this color in stock anymore, but they have this really pretty green one, which I had gotten for Isra when I did that video with her. Um, so cute. And they have like a red color, I believe, but it's such a nice jumpsuit and it's very cute, very comfortable. I feel like this would also be perfect for like graduation or something like that, you know? And for the outfit, it's like a suit. He's chilling out here watching TikTok. So yeah, I feel like that's it for today. I will start a new vlog for our second day. No, no, our second full day, but our third day technically here in Cancun. So it'll be our last 
full day here um i feel like you don't really need that many days at like a resort because then you'll just like run out of things to do or you'll just get bored i mean i don't know i wouldn't say i would get bored but all you really do is like you're just eating at the restaurants um you're chilling at the pool or the beach and then they have like some activities you can do um and they do have like shows but i don't really care to go to those that much because it's just like i think today they were just having like a live singer and stuff like that like i don't know not my vibe i would say i feel like it's been fun staying at a resort it's my first time ever being at one like doing an all-inclusive thing we've just been like having fun relaxing we had a lot of free time so we we're just like making tiktoks and making content for you guys and just you know having a good time doing that i'm not sure what we're going to end up doing tomorrow probably try out one of the other restaurants that we haven't tried out yet i feel like we've tried out like four out of the seven i would say so we still have a few more left that we can try and i'll give you guys like my honest review on the resort i guess if you're thinking of staying here or you wanted to know because i know a lot of times like you guys will be like interested um in knowing your experience and stuff like that because you were also like thinking of planning a trip and you're not sure where etc so yeah, but it's been fun. It's definitely different, I guess, staying at a resort. It's like very touristy-like, I guess, than like doing more like local things and like actually seeing Cancun. Like we're just staying here. It's more of like a vacation, which is more like the honeymoon vibe, I feel like, because we never took our honeymoon slash anniversary. So yeah, I'm talking way too much. So I'm just going to end this vlog off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like comment, subscribe, and thumbs up.